So I'm set up on my hunt this evening. When I showed up to my feeder down here on this creek bottom, I realized that it had not been running the last couple of days because it had a clog in it, which I guess was completely my fault. I should have checked it as I advocate the day before I came or the uh, couple of days before I came, but it's, uh, time did not allow that to happen this time. And it made me think of something that I wanted to share with you as kind of a tech tip of the week, and that is having a good attitude. A lot of people, you know, kind of take that for granted in hunting while well, hunting's a recreational sport, but being around a hunting ranch for the years that I've been in, uh, you know, working with uh, guiding hunters and that kind of thing, I have really learned the paces of having a good attitude and how that impacts a hunt so importantly. And uh, one of the things that I'm really, really big about is the law of attraction. Now, however you believe that to be, the law of attraction, it just simply says that whatever you put out in the universe, good things come back to you. So if you put out positive energy, positive things will come into your life, negative energy, so on and so forth, negative energy will come into your life. So basically, the one thing I've noticed in my career and in my personal life is the more grateful and thankful that I am, the more good things come into my life. And regardless of what you think about that philosophy or what your belief system is, a great affirmation to have that I learned from The Power of Positive Thinking, which is a book written by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale back in the, I believe it was the 70s or 80s, and it was uh, published in audiobook in the 90s before he passed away, is the following affirmation. It goes like this, and you can say this as a prayer, and you can say this as just a personal affirmation depending on what your belief system is. I am grateful for all that I have had, for all that I have, and for all that I shall have. Have, had, and shall have. I say that to myself every time I come hunting. I say that to myself every time I wake up in the morning. It is just a good affirmation of gratitude and thankfulness, and I've seen some awesome things come into my life because of that. And we have all, if you've been out here hunting for any amount of time, we've all had our disappointments out here. Um, like I said, I came down here this afternoon feeder's not running, I'm kind of thinking, oh geez, I don't know if I'm going to see any deer this evening. I'm going to still sit out here and hunt. Uh, it's still a great way to commune with nature. It's still a way to, um, to commune with God for me, and uh, it's a very spiritual thing for me. But also, I'm not going to have a negative attitude about that. I get to choose how I respond as a hunter to my situation, and life is, in general, that's the way it works. We, we either have a reaction, which is uh, sometimes negative, or we have a response, which can be positive. And I will choose to have a positive response. And I've taught about this to our whole sales force with my uh, with the company that I work for. I have spoken about this in uh, church services, and and just I believe that wholeheartedly because I've seen when I believe in the power of gratefulness, and that uh, that things are going to be okay, and that you have a positive outlook. You know, great things happen. They really, really do. And um, another thing that uh, you know, a lot of us let get us down is if we have a disappointment like we lose an animal or um, we wound an animal or are unable to find it, we miss a shot, we make a bad shot. Uh, the last exotic hunt that I was on recently, um, summer before last, I ended up shooting a, uh, a ram and I hit it in the shin area right, right where the knee is and because I did not check my gun the day before my hunt, uh, a guide I had forgot about dropped it uh, last time I was hunting, I thought, well, the gun's fine, you know, it's been through worse tra trauma than that. Turned out that knocked the scope off just enough to make that shot go that much lower, and that shot was at maybe, you know, 50 yards, and uh, that was with a 270 rifle, and it just should not have been like that. It should have been a better shot than that, and I was kind of beating myself up, but I, you know, stepped back from it. I said, I'm going to have a positive response. The uh, ranch owner of this particular ranch, Found the animal the next day, was uh, was wounded. We went through and uh, and finished the job. Got the animal, beautiful, beautiful silver class ram that we got. Uh, it was Corsican uh, ram, and I was just I was so thankful. But I believed again in using the best equipment, preparing the best that I can. Everything will fall into place. But again, a positive attitude. And I've seen some hunts ruined with a negative attitude. And uh, especially when we're around youth and, and new hunters, we have to keep a positive attitude because again, we are role models as hunters for others in our community, for others that witness us as hunters that are non-hunters, for those of us that uh, come into this and just um, and, and are new to uh, wanting to learn about hunting, we have to be good role models of a positive attitude in everything that we do as hunters. For this tech tip, I'm Dustin Warnke. Thanks for watching us today.